all new to living. It's Pete Burns's PA. Pete Burns is an 80s icon who has certainly lived life to the full, taking in huge chart success, Celebrity Big Brother, and brushes with the law along the way. Now Pete is getting his life back on track and is planning to marry his boyfriend Michael later this year. But a wedding needs organisation and Pete's life is anything but organised. So the time has come for him to get some hired help and the hunt is on for his PA. Couldn't be Pete's PA for all the tea in China. You'd probably have to have your wits about you. You'd have to be very tough. You'd have to be used to being shouted at. What if I was contacted by Pete Burns? Asking if I'd like to work for him. I must be fucking joking. I'd absolutely love to work for Pete Burns. And the reason why is because he's just got this aura about him. It's the job from hell. If Pete offered me the job, I'd take it, definitely. The reason I think I need a PA is I'm incredibly disorganised. And as time goes by, I'm becoming more and more aware how disorganised I am. But come on, we're in a rush. We're going to get I don't want the black one. I'm only That's all here with the red one. The red one here. More well, what importantly, do? Well, forget the wig. What time's the appointment? How could I forget the wig? I put dry cleaning in the cleaners and forget which cleaners I put it in. They'll be stage clothes. I'll have people coming to repair something in the house and I'll, I'll forget to be there. I'll go out and I'll lose the keys. I, I lose everything. Recently, I lost my engagement ring and we couldn't find it anywhere. If it was in the cat litter tray, I have a Persian cat and that cat's always got diarrhoea. I'm so accident prone, so prone to losing things, so prone to nearly setting the house on fire because I focus totally on the work so real life doesn't exist for me on any level. The busy day in Pete's life is pretty much every day because it's a whole process of getting him from waking up and out the door. It starts before he wakes up. You have to, he doesn't own a clock, you have to be the alarm clock and you have to start with the coffee and, you know, slowly coax him into the world. And then it's probably two, it depends actually, one to two to three to five hours getting ready, depending on the event. He just really does zone in to getting ready and he'll kind of do the makeup, have a bath, put a bit more on, take a bit off, change the wig, change the outfit. That was cool three months ago. It looked like a lesbian. I'm not really in a Bambi mood either. No, 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 no. 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 What am I supposed to do with these? Come on, I need something to wear. Now it looks like one of Gary Bliss's cast-offs. No. He tends to get mirror lock. It'll take as long as he, he's allowed to, but it can be about an hour, an hour to two hours, if you're lucky. I take ages getting ready, but I use it to meditate. I do, I you usually take five hours to get ready. The PA that I get is not going to have the easiest job and it's going to encompass so many different elements of my life. He needs a mother, a nanny, a secretary, a stylist, a cleaner, um, and a friend. Yeah. Pete is heading to a secret location in London to interview potential PAs for the job. He will select 10 candidates to live together in a house in glamorous North London, and they'll compete over nine weeks to prove they have what it takes to become Pete's PA. I'm not as bad as people think, am I? <laughs> Helping him make that decision is expert Rob Young. I'm a business psychologist. I work in the city of London recruiting captains of industry. Pete Burns could be my most demanding client yet. Pete's acerbic, highly strung and opinionated. He's not going to suffer fools gladly. I need to find a PA with a tough hide and a sharp mind. My brief is to assess the candidates psychologically to separate the wheat from the chaff. And celebrity PA Donna Cooling. The best part of being a PA is having an insight to some amazing lives that people lead. At the moment I work for Helena Bonham Carter, Rachel Weiss, Derek Jacobi. The most important criteria when looking for a PA, um, to me, I think, is someone who is super organised. They organise in their sleep, they have a good sense of humour, accept your mistakes when they're not your mistakes. Um, you've, you've got to cover everything, you've got to be four steps ahead all the time. You've kind of got to know your client better than they know themselves. I don't think he needs a friend, I don't think he needs a fan. I think he's looking for someone to look after him. Together they'll decide on the good. I thought she was lovely, I really, really liked her. The bad. 
This guy is a waste of time. Just get him out of here. I'd like to hear the sound of your head banging off the desk. And the slightly unusual potential PAs. So what makes you think that I'd want a clapped out male stripper as my PA? And can you sit with your legs together, please? Because I find it absolutely nauseating that you're sitting there with your legs spread to show me you've got big plums. As the interviewees prepare to face Pete and the panel, what do they think they have to secure them the job? I work well under pressure. I work well with people. I've been in the, the paras, TA paratroopers. I've done that for eight years. I'm adaptable, mature, and had obviously managerial experience. I'm very minded. I'm fast. I'm a big bag hag. I can only offer what I've got and hope it's good enough. I've got some weird piercings I can show you. So, what advice do Pete's loved ones have for the candidates? Pete's personality is so funny, he's really witty, really intelligent, but very firm. So, you know, whoever's going to do this job has got to be somebody that's really smart, somebody that's on the ball, somebody that's constantly on the toes, somebody that's going to be two steps ahead of Pete the whole way. Really, really, really on the ball. In terms of what Pete actually needs as a PA, I think mainly it's someone that just can come into our life and be part of the team, part of the family. It would have to be someone who just kind of got Pete. I mean, to live with, he can be quite demanding. Well, I was married to Pete for 25 years. We met when we were teenagers and um, we've worked together for all of that time. It's vital that the PA is discreet because they will be working very closely with Pete. Pete wouldn't tolerate anything else from them. I would say that he's a free spirit, a fun person who does what he wants to do. I admire that. I don't just think he's a down-to-earth type guy. <laughs> Quite fearsome. I think he's going to go places. The PA needs to have nerves of steel. They can't burst into tears very easily. They can't really fight back with me because then I'll fight twice as hard. They've got to be able to cope with extreme situations. I don't want somebody who just thinks they know it all because I've got the right to change at any time. And I'd like someone to surprise me. I don't want a stalker. They've got to be like a pair of psychic sunglasses that shield me from the glare of the job that I'm in. They're just going to have to be absolutely amazing. Really, really amazing. What do you do on the railways? Uh, maintenance. It's like my choo choo, I have a breakdown, down, you can land it. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be smutty. <laughs> we have to assume the worst that you hacked them off. And darling, you. you can assume whatever you like. You Wait. got to the finals of a bikini babe. That's not going to help me if I work in an office three days a week or work in sales. Then why didn't you list that rather than kind of this? Kind I know. Of because this is basically an office administrative job. I know. Job. A personal assistant job. I know. Pete Burns is in London to interview for his new assistant. With the expert help of celebrity PA Donna Cooling. The most important criteria when looking for a PA, um, to me, I think, is someone who is super organised. And business psychologist Rob Young. I hate time wasters and have no time for pleasantries. Ten candidates will be selected to compete for the job. I have no idea what's going to happen to me. Oh, but the first thing you'll do is judge me on my image. I'm pretty free and easy. There's nothing I find really daunting. You know, nothing really weirds me out. Let's get started. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Hello. Next. First to impress the panel is 27-year-old Denise from Dorset. I'm open to anything. I'll try. Well, my motto is I'll try anything once. If I like it, I'll go back. Do you know anything about me? I know about your career. I know that you're, you're from Port, Port Sunlight. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I you're about the same age as me, Mum and Dad. So, <laughs> so but That's with really which is young. No, which is young. Which is young. They had me very young. Um, I'm speechless. Oh. Do you think there's anything wrong with being old? No, but if you heard my next sentence... I'm kind of old. It's a perfect job. I think my mum and dad are young. They're my best friends. Okay. Thank you. I told him he was the same age as being with my dad, so he was like, oh, I'm insulted. I've never been so insulted in all my life. No, I'm joking. But he, he just had a laugh. Just told him what I was like. Told him what I thought he'd be looking for. You know, just fingers crossed. She's a good talker, but I just wonder if she's just all mouth. Next. I should be Pete's PA because I'm very tenacious at getting things. 
and I'm sure I could get him anything that he wants. Well, everyone seems to like my tits, but I don't know how I can make that into a talent. What's a sex blog? A blog, sort of like a journal, so about my exploits um, in the bedroom, my exploits dating in London, etc. So you write about people you've had sex with? Some of them, some of them people that I've dated. Sometimes they're celebrity, celebrities, but I always disguise who it is. So you write about celebrities that you've shagged? Yes, and normal people. Is that the skill that you would bring? No, no, I have many skills. I mean, I'm, it shows I'm a people person. It definitely does. All of this is just kind of me, me, me. It's about being a celebrity PA is actually a bit about being She's invisible. From New York. That's yeah, what but it's that's about. She's fight, fight and go get her. Yeah. Well, I, I am a go get And the thing is, I'm really tenacious. I'm like a little but this is about attention. carrier on, on, a, on a chicken bone. That you won't let go. You won't let go. Yeah. Well, well, I think we're going to let you go. I think so. Pete, anything he wanted or needed. I, I found Rob more difficult than Pete. Yes. Next, please. My name is Ian Wood, and I'm 23 years of age. Things I went through for Pete, well, you'd do everything, because hopefully you wouldn't ask things that would be a bit crude or, <laughs> or anything, but uh, I'll be up for helping Pete out as best as possible. To How would you look after me? Uh, if, if you want a taxi, a cup of tea or anything, and... You work on the railways at the moment. Yeah, that's true. And you're a semi-pro footballer. Yeah. What do you do on the railways? Uh, maintenance. Just doing like the track if it's broken and. So if my choo-choo ever breaks down, you can mend it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be smutty. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming. Anyway, you should have come in your football shorts. People liked it. Um, see you around. Thank Thanks, you. Ian. Like Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye. He was adorable. He was a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. I was just pointed because personally I didn't come across that should do, but as soon as you walk through, you don't get the how like, you're so close and, to, and everything is. But I enjoyed it. With Peter Michael's wedding only weeks away, the panel set about finding relevant experience. Have you ever organised a wedding? I have. Have you ever organised a wedding? No. Could you organise a wedding? I certainly could. I'm organising one of my friends. Have you ever planned a wedding? Well, I was planning my own wedding, actually, up until a couple of days ago when my boyfriend broke up with me. Oh, that's a bummer, isn't it? And I used to watch the wedding channel every day. Oh, no. <laughs> you got up at you, you got up yeah. another one in the wings. <laughs> so the when I heard that, I... You've either got to have that or be a really, really good scrapper, because I'd kill mine if we went anywhere. <laughs> oh. So are you okay? Oh, well, yeah, I'm okay. I've had 48 hours now, but... This whole experience has really cheered me up. Oh, okay. oh, oh great. Um, you look so good. A horrible okay. Have a good one, Brenda. Thank you so much. Thank nice you. to meet Thank you. you. There should be a thing when boyfriends finish, you just kill them and throw them yeah. in a dish. <laughs> Is that a warning to Michael? Take it as you go. You never get away from me. I'm glad to place. His face is beautiful. Um, I know he said he's, he has a lot of problems in the past with the reconstructive surgery, but he looks amazing now, really does. Next! I should be Pete's PA because I think we'd get on very well. I used to run a record label, so I've been on the gay scene and the club scene, and I find people like that very exciting. I don't mind the, uh, the hissy fits. I, again, you're trying to diffuse it with humour, you listen to it, you wait for it's over, wait for it, wait for it all to calm down, and then you go, right, Pete, so what should we do? <laughs> Why did you come here today? Because I think we'd be a really good team together. Why? Because I, I like your cleverness, I like your wit, I'm a good worker. Working for someone like P would actually be interesting. Why do you think he's going to be interesting? He's actually quite dull. No, he's not. <laughs> not at all. He's got an acerbic wit, which I adore. And just the fact that the next few years of your career is going to be very interesting, I think. You've been involved in running a record label, you've managed artists, mm -hmm. been a tour manager, you've been a singer. I see this as a step down for you. He needs me. But, I mean, all the things you're saying just don't make sense. Well, it's quite tough, actually, yeah. God, you're horrible. I'm doing my job. They think that they have an understanding of you when they don't, which is quite interesting. She did defend herself well, though. Okay. She didn't look phased. Next. With the interviews in full swing, some of the candidates are impressing the panel with some right answers. Are you good under pressure? Oh, absolutely. What's your biggest mistake you've made? There's no point in saying anything's a mistake because that means you regret it. It's a job I would like to do, and it's a job I do feel that I could do and could do very well. 
Ich bin Mario from Witness. Others are just making an impression. What's your most annoying habit? Pissing on the toilet seat. Oh, oh stop why it! Why did you share that? Ew. Ew. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to dress like that for a job interview. Can you sit with your legs together, please? Because I find it absolutely nauseating that you're sitting there with your legs spread to show me you've got big plums. Next. Could you organise a wedding really quickly? Because I'm pregnant. Oh, really? What do you do? <laughs> Next. Shelley from Essex was runner-up in the Bikini Babe competition 2006 for the Daily Star and believes she's got the front to become Pete's PA. I love Pete as a person, um, don't know much about him to be honest, I haven't really researched his background but after watching him on The Big Brother I really believe that I could be his PA because we're very much alike, we both know what we want, we tell people um, straight to their face, you know, if we don't like someone we'll tell them straight to their face and I think that's a really good way to be and people that we like do normally get on. I have to say this is an interesting CV because... Okay. You've done photo shoots for Nuts, FHM, Wonder Bra, a medical catalogue, and you've listed your bust size here. Yeah, I know. Why? Why? Um, when I went to my dance college, I was always told when you write out a CV to always put your measurements. But that would be for a dance job, surely. Not for a personal assistant job. I know. In some jobs, tits get you everywhere. <laughs> Are they your own? No, they're not. Oh, you've got implants. <laughs> OK, that's fine. Do you want yeah. to work in TV? I love to work in TV. Yeah. Yeah. Doing what? What's your ideal job? job? Uh, my ideal job, I think, would probably be presenting because I'm a very outgoing person. And it says, you know, I want to be in the spotlight, yeah. you know, not behind the scenes working yeah. with someone like You're going to be working today. for the star, that, not being the star. True. Three things you know about Pete. He's got um, a boyfriend called Michael. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't like Jodie Mosh. Mm -hmm. And he lives in um, Dalston. What? Dorset, sorry. No, I don't. I don't know anyone that wrong then. So, so you, you think you know something about it, but you can only actually list two. Can I just read some more things, actually, from your CV? Yeah. Um, how do you think it will help you to get a job as a PA that you had to do a photo shoot and take sexy poses and fire replica guns? That's, that's not going to help me, but the that thing is... That sounds quite cool, that's, actually. That's only listed my modelling career. That doesn't list what I do. And that you week. got to the finals of a bikini babe. That's not going to help me, but I mean, I work in an office three days a week, I work in sales. I'm then why do you list that, rather than kind of this kind I know. of stuff? Because this is basically an office administrative I job. I know. I mean, I know it's all modelling jobs, but it does show that I can, you know, I can work in different areas and, okay. you know, work at them well. I've showed them my personality, and I did explain to them that I'm, I apologise for just sending the model in dance CV. I told them the other types of work that I do, about the office work, about organising meetings and stuff, so I know how to work, you know as a business person as well as the modelling side, so hopefully it would be all right. I liked her. I liked her. My name's Kelly and I'm 28, nearly 29. I've been quite relaxed all day, but now something's going to happen. I'm going to get all silly and <laughs> ridiculous like that. I think it'd be really exciting to work for. I think it'd be an exciting job, a challenging job. Um, at the moment, I'm very bored. I've got quite a short attention span and um, I need to be kept stimulated. Your dream job is to be a wildlife documentary presenter. Wow. Yeah. How are you going to get there from working for Pete? I have no idea. I do you like wild animals? Okay. I do. You're going to be working for one. Oh, well, that's fun. That was really quick. Maybe I just spoke too much and a bit too much and it'll be one go. But um, yeah, all good. Job done. I have to say, she's got a square head on her shoulders. I think she could do the job. I liked her energy. Yeah. I hated her. I think we should put her through, yeah. give her the chance. Bear with us on this one. I'll need tablets. The panel have now seen quite a cross-section of applicants, but nothing could prepare them for 48-year-old Sasha, who believes that he and Pete are like two peas in a pod. We have lived very, very similar kinds of lives. A life of rock and roll excess and let's say, to do with changing and transforming one's gender. At this stage in my life, I'm looking for something which would stretch me extraordinarily to the max. I have to say, it was a pretty late night, but I made the effort for Mr. Burns. Great, wow. thank you. You're one of the most inspiring people we have in this town. I have to say, I'm at a loss for words. It doesn't really happen. <laughs> you didn't get here till one today. Do you have a problem with timekeeping? I didn't know I had to be here by one. I got up at my usual time. And what time do you normally get up? Um, depends on my inclination, then. So what, what time would you right. turn up for work? I just get up when it's necessary, because... So you, you wouldn't have a problem I, getting to I his house I lived and worked 10. in Berlin during the Cold War. 
as a drag performer. So if you work in Germany, you become ultra punctual. Okay, this is a job as a PA. You really want to work as a dog's body, a g gopher. Yeah, you work for Richard O'Brien as, as his Absolutely. assistant. How long was See? that for? And a brief period, but there were complications. How long did you work for Richard O'Brien for? Four or five months. Okay, so after four or five months, it didn't work out. No. That's a problem for me. But we have to assume the worst, that you hacked him off and Darling, you. you can assume whatever you like. Um, it's just that, as far as I'm concerned, I'm still bound by my sense of being a PA for Richard, which is being discreet and respecting his privacy, and I'm not prepared to violate it, either for you or anyone else, or any out. media, or newspapers. Well, okay. well, the well, reasons why are not yours to know. Thanks Thank you, Sasha. Thank you for waiting Bye-bye. Thanks. It's in the lap of the gods, is all I can say. But uh, I'm looking forward to hitting the hay and collecting my bags. I have to say, he was one of the most unlikable people we've seen today. That hair was creepy. Tiny Tim. You know, tiny Tim. I just liked him. I just liked him. I'm slightly disappointed with the people we've had this morning because I've seen only a, a couple of people who I think I'd put through. Otherwise, everyone else is, you know, basically a wannabe. So hopefully we're going to get some better quality candidates this afternoon. I'm looking for somebody who's going to be professional, with a bit of background experience, maybe media experience, somebody who's got some common sense and really wants to do the job. Do you know anything about me at all? I don't know very much, only what my friends have told me. What have they told you? Yes, I am a celebrity in my own right. So I am beginning to get recognised, especially um, if I go on trains and buses. People tend to stare at me and you know, give me a weird look and I think, mm, I don't look funny, do I? Yeah. I'm dirty and love to talk about cock and I think we'd have a great laugh, but I can do the job as well. It's interview day for Pete Burns and his team, and so far they have come across some interesting candidates. Everyone seems to like my tits, but I don't know how I can make that into a talent. I'm looking for something which would stretch me extraordinarily to the max. Pete's already chaotic life is about to take on more chaos because he's about to marry his partner, Michael, so there's a big wedding to plan, and he's got a lot of things in the pipeline, TV shows and stuff, so, you know, she's going to have a work cut out for her, or he whichever the case may be. Pete's planning to marry boyfriend Michael, so he doesn't only need someone to organise the wedding, he also needs someone to organise his life. Hiring a PA, they're going to have to immediately take a lot of strain off Michael. He, he does the day-to-day -day running of everything. They're going to have to really alleviate some of the pressure off him so we can actually spend time together as a couple. And the man for the job could well be Damon from Middlesex. I should be Pete's PA because I'm an, an organised lad. I'm um, lively, I'm fun, I'm a very good listener. I'm straight thinking, straight talking. Hello, afternoon. Hi. How are What's you? What's a big entrance Thank you, you very much. You noticed. Thank goodness yeah. for that. We are so bored. We've seen five million people. I can't imagine. I've been sitting with five million people. Yeah, we're there. here. You've been, we're here. You've been entertaining them. So mm -hmm. why are you here? Why do you want this job? Because I want a career. So this is like this a, is a like step last, down the last. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say last ditch attempt. No, but uh, it's uh, it's. I had a career with an airline for seven years, while I was dealing with VIP um, clients with that. Mm. Um, I loved that, but the department came to a close. I've learned very much to be patient. If you learn to be patient. Okay. Do you think it was worth the wait? Completely. Most of the men that have walked through that door have made me want to vomit down the front of my shirt, and he didn't. As the day begins to wear on, Pete decides to set some tests for the applicants. Do you think you can work out how that garment goes on? going to wear it for her husband when he's coming home from work um, and it's not going to be on for long. My name is Debbie Richards and I'm a rather horrible 48. <laughs> I don't think there's anything particularly special um, that I can give him that nobody else can. Just lots of support. Although I've been very confident all day and not been the least bit nervous. 
suppose I am beginning to feel slightly nervous now. What's brought you here today? What do you have, of course? Why? To be your PA. Have you had any experience of being a PA before? Oh, masses, I'm afraid, yes. I've just finished working for Lulu Guinness. And before that, I was looking after a doctor in um, Camden uh, for five years. Yeah. How do you think you could improve my life? Well, I'd give you lots of support. And I would hope I'd make you happy and laugh, you know, and uh, just in make you enjoy your life better. Not saying that you've got an unenjoyable life, obviously. I hate it. Do you, oh, know, do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you know anything about me at all? I don't know very much. Only what my friends have told me. What they told you? <laughs> <laughs> it's all a vicious rumour. <laughs> what about no, what? they've told me that you're you're a very interesting person. You're obviously you're very famous, um, and I'd be very lucky to work for you. I'm incredibly disorganised. I never remember to pull up zippers. I forget to put my shoes on. I just live in a bubble, and I'm a complete dits. Do you think that you could organise those elements in my life? Have you got a watchful eye? Yes. Because at the moment, that's what a boyfriend does. He says, you can't go out, your trousers are undone. You can't go out, get no shoes on, because I forget everything. You think you could cope with that? Yes. You're I quite maternal? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. How would you wake me up in the morning? With a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. What, throw it over me? No. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Thank you. Okay, then. Thank you so okay, much. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Bye bye. They were quite nice to me, actually. I think we should all have one. I think she's actually all quite sorted. Yeah. She's lovely. She's I mean, great. She's gracious. She's lovely. Yeah. I mean, she comes across so as sort of quite mousy, but I think there's like no, a little I bit think of a. She's lovely. And her coat was a bit naughty as well. She mm. just looked a bit. I, I really liked her. She was my absolute favourite so far. So, with Pete in a positive mood, will born entertainer Brian from Edgware be able to secure a place in the PA house? They stand today! <laughs> yes, I am a celebrity in my own right. But I am beginning to get recognised, especially uh, if I go on trains and buses. People tend to stare at me and give me a weird look, and I think, mm, I don't look funny, do I? I've got the looks the experience and the pizzazz and help keep him in order. I'm still waiting for the big break. Next! Oh. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome. I love impersonating people and I do, you know, and I'm the first one, you know, it's Kenneth Williams. And of course there's, of course, Frankie Howard, oh, and he's another one, he goes, don't tit a love, don't tit a dear, don't mock me afflicted. Oh, that's what he used to do there, of course. And there's another thing, isn't there? I mean, there was, there was, there was, there was oh, so many. How long have you been in showbiz? Um, about 30 years. It says on your CV that you want to use this to get up the ladder. Ladder of what? Ladder to my roof, ladder in my tights, what ladder? I suppose, to be honest, the, the ladder of the next rung of the ladder. What do you think my day-to-day -day work actually involves? Obviously going places. What could you do about me going places? Well, it's obviously be organising your chauffeur, organising the venues, organising your wardrobe. Can you give us an example of something you've organised recently? Um. At this time, no. All I can tell you is that I'm just, well, failed. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we found your PA. I think we have. See ya. Contestants know that if all else fails, there's always the party pieces to get the judges' attention. My fingers are double jointed, so they can't kind of do like a belly dance. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Tell us a joke. Um, there is. Um, I can't think of one, sorry. <laughs> That's okay, I hate jokes. Things aren't looking good for 31 year old Natalie from Wales, who's struggling to string a sentence together. We're just really hungover and not very good at all, so, yeah, it's probably best we. Um, why are you wearing the same clothes as you wore last night? Well, I Did you pull? <laughs> no, I've been home for about two hours, but I freshened them with Febreze, so, so they're, they're, oh. not, they're not that bad. Why have you only been home for two hours? What were you out doing? Well, I was just partying and just having a bit of a... Are you a big party animal? You have a full oh, social yeah, life. Definitely. Work hard, play hard, definitely. Okay. I'm going to be dead long in that. So yeah. what about if Pete yeah. calls you at 11 o'clock at night because his water's... Not his water's broke. <laughs> 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 
boilers broke. <laughs> because his boilers exploded or something, and my you're kind of breaks. in a club or something. You know how, how are you going to deal with that? Well, I, my phone is always on vibrate, so I can I can drag my my back end there. I want to get my phone on vibrate. Vi- 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 Ooh, right, let's do it. Okay. Tell me what you think of PA does. A PA basically is someone who makes who will make your life easier and cover up any sort of crap along the way. Oh, it was a bit dicey. It's like an exam, isn't it? I don't think I've, I don't think I've done well. But I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I've tried my best. The opportunity was on my doorstep, and I couldn't pass it up. So. <laughs> I have to say, she was more than sweet. She was bloody fantastic. She was good fun. She was a breath of fresh air. She well, was. Apart from the yeah. She'd be frigging useless at the job, but she might be a laugh. She'd be useless. No, I think that she'd be a laugh and she, good at the yeah. job. Next. I should be Pete's PA because I'm fabulous. I consider myself like a gay man trapped in a woman's body. <laughs> Why would you want to be a PA for someone like me? Um, and please let me say this. On your CV, it says you're a massive fag hag. And secondly of all, if this is a job interview, as I don't consider myself a fag, I do think this photograph is highly inappropriate for a job application. I don't think it's one bit funny. And I don't really see any need to say you're a massive fag hag. What does that mean? You like being around queers? I do. (laughs) So you're a gay man trapped in a woman's body? Exactly. Uh, And you think that's a qualification for getting a job? Definitely not, but I think it would certainly help. Then why help. did you mention it? It's just stupid, isn't it? Yeah, well... Our boxes. most annoying habit could be talking about cock all the time. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. what's so special about cock? Ding dong. <sighs> well, I don't have one. Maybe that's why they're so special. Oh, you should Ding. try one. All right, they get, <laughs> okay. in the, they get in the way. They really limit your choices of underwear. All right, right. then. <laughs> Thank well, you. Well, okay, finito. Bye-bye. He didn't like the bag hack reference. Bag, 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 mm-hmm. bag. The only fag I like is the one that smoke. Next. Do you know what? I don't get phased. I've worked with murderers and rapists and stroppy teenagers. And you combine them a lot together. You put them in front of me. They're rude. They're threatening. They're arrogant. They're dangerous. I still smile. I still go back to work the next day. And I still make sure there's a relationship between me and that person. And this is a job for a, 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 as a PA. So, mm-hmm. you know, sending faxes, doing research at a computer, <laughs> meeting clients maybe. So why have you sent in a photo of yourself wearing kind of, I, I don't know, like it's dressed as a, a, a stripper? Ah, <laughs> as a stripper, because I've got my skirt and top on. No, I sent in several photos and that expresses the fun side of me and I didn't want to be seen as just an image. I want Pete to know that I am a fun person and I do have a personality and I'm confident about that. Are you happy to take a step back? Do you know what? Pete's the star. I'm just here to help yeah, him shine. Ex- exactly, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't I don't really want that. I get that, that it might come along with the job. I get that. But I'm not trying to be you. I'm trying to help you be who you are. Would you think that somebody like me was really high maintenance? I think the media portrays you as high maintenance. Um, I think maybe in your personal life, occasionally you are. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with that. God, I'm a woman. We're all high maintenance. OK, that's great. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. And you. Great. Up okay. Thank, all you right. Right. Thanks, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Didn't say a nasty thing to me and anything. He was like a little kitten. She wasn't yeah. like, oh my god, you're amazing, I, I love fan. you. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing that I didn't yeah. like about her. She should have said, oh my god, you're amazing, I really love you. And that <laughs> no, but you see, more I like fan. her more because she's the kind of person who's not going to take any shit from you. Next. I run a shift of seven guys, uh, 24 hours a day, um, and I'm like a PA to them. I'm a bit shocked, but I know where you come from. Just sit down. Okay, thank you. Oh, the gender identity thing, what, what, what is this? It's, it's transvestitism, isn't it? Well, yes, yes. I've been cross-dressing since I was eight years old um, and kept it a secret for 45 years. Well, honey, the cat's out the bag now. Well, yes, it is now. Would you be able to put Helen in a box and be, what's your mum's name? Ah, John. John. Yeah, I can, I can be either. Um, yeah, who would come up? <laughs> Helen, John. Uh, who is is the best, it? It's the best of both worlds, really. Do, do you have any perception at all of the demands that I might put upon you on a day-to-day basis? I can only guess. I think, yes, I could quite easily get through to the next round. He's not right for the role. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, if I had an absolutely huge budget, I'd let you John to rush I'd give him the role because I'd love to see people deal with Alan. I think I've got a lot to offer. I'm highly organised. Um, I'm fun, friendly, good communicator. Um, I just think I'd be a really good asset to his team. 
I'm just gonna go in there, be myself, and if he likes me, he does. That's good. Yeah. Can you tell me why you'd like to be my PA? Um, I've done the work before, so I know it involves. Who with? Uh, a Radio One presenter. Okay. Um, so I know what it involves, like the celebrity side and the home side. And why Pete? Because I'm lovely. He's lovely, he's unique, um, you know, interesting. What about the nightclub that you run? Uh, yeah, I've just recently started running a nightclub for um, people with learning difficulties. Um, it's like a closed sort of environment, so it's a safe environment. Have you got a very sort of placid temperament? I'm fairly chilled, yeah. You don't yeah. fight back? Um, not if I can help it. If I can find another alternative, then I'll go down that route. So you're very zen? Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye, Ria. Bye bye, Pete. Take care. Diarrhea. <laughs> It was a lot calmer, actually, than I expected, so it was nice. It was nice. It wasn't so high-pressured, so it was good. I like, witch. I like her a lot. Nice. She I was like nice. Her. She's got that temperament. She's got it. So here's the final 20, and out of this, we've, um, we've got to pick 10, so... Whew, God help us. They're all interesting characters, and somehow one is going to jump out of those ten and prove themselves to be everything that I want. Pete Burns needs a PA. I'm in desperate need of a PA. Helping him in his task is business psychologist Rob Young. I need to find a PA with a tough hide and a sharp mind. And celebrity PA Donna Cooling. You've kind of got to know your client better than they know themselves. Together, they've spent the day interviewing a wide selection of applicants for the position. Now the time has come for the panel to decide on the final 10 candidates who will move into the house and compete for the prestigious job as Pete's PA. So here's the final 20, and out of this, we've, um, we've got to pick 10, so... Ooh, God help us. <laughs> okay, well, okay. I... I remember her. I really liked her, Maria. I've done the work before, so I know what it involves. Who with? Uh, a Radio 1 presenter. Yeah, I thought she was good as well, and I liked the colour of her hair. Yeah, okay, what about Sasha? I got up at my usual time. And what time do you normally get up? Um, depends on my inclination, then. I mean, I, I, I just don't see it, personally. I, there's no way on earth. Naive London girl, the one with the exploding titties. And I'm good at dealing with people who are high profile and have special needs. And she wants to screw celebrities. I'm spoken for. She was fantastic. Yeah. I've just finished working for Lulu Guinness. Um, and before that, I was looking after a doctor. Yeah, I really like. You really her. like Deborah. As far as I'm concerned, if she's the only one that goes through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, so. Put, so her we'll put her with our yeses. Okay. Yeah. Helen slash John. I lead a team of seven guys on shift work. Um, so I, uh, uh, well, I'm in heavy mechanical engineering. He's just come out about you know the way. Helen or John exactly. is. Exactly, I think he's got a lot going on at the moment. But he knows where to find a pair of 60 Dania American tan tights after midnight. She's the one who came in with Febreze all oh. over her clothes, isn't she? Is she <laughs> yeah. from Wales? And she's yeah, been on the she piss. was. I think um, a PA basically is someone who will make you all enthusiasts and cover any sort of crap along the way. She's a yes, she's a yes. I'm putting her with her yeses. But what, about, what about this guy? What about Ian? Why do you deserve this job? Uh, it's going to be a challenge for me. I believe I can do it just as well as anyone else, maybe better. If given the opportunity, could actually blossom and surprise I, yeah, us. Yeah, I do too. What about Kelly? I'm an office manager for the Metropolitan Police. Um, I manage an office of 300 people, um, very varied. And like a lot of the wannabes that we've seen, you know, she's someone who I believe could actually do the job. Okay, Denise. I've just finished um, a three-year degree in multimedia journalism, which I think is a big plus to have, like a media insight. I was then going to go to Queen's College to do an executive PA in business course. So, I mean, I'm, this is what I really want to do. She was okay. She was sparky. She made an impact. Shelley, you Sweet. got to the finals of a bikini babe. That's not going to help me, but I mean, I work in an office three days a week. I work in sales. Then why do you miss that rather than kind of this kind I of know. Stuff? Because this is basically an office administrative I job. Know. No. I mean, she's a wannabe. I don't, I don't know. I think... No, she really wants it. Damon, he would be able to put up with yeah. these kind of other people. Yeah. I had a career with an airline for seven years while I was dealing with VIP um, clients with that. Exactly. He was energetic, he made an yeah. impact. SJ. Okay. Yeah. Why did you come here today? Because I think we'd be a really good team together. Why? Because I, I like your cleverness, I like your wit, I'm a good worker. She, she was, was good. good. On yeah. paper, she had great, great credentials. 
Oh, one more. Okay, so we've got two left. Nikki and Judy. I love Judy. Yeah, Ju Judy was but great. But she made a huge mistake. She brought a copy of my book yeah. to sign. Will you okay. sign my book? Yeah, sure. That was, that, that was great. <laughs> I, would, I would usually sign those books, and it was a good opportunity to put me on the spot and get the book signed, and now she's disappeared into, into the ether, and I just don't really want someone working for me who's going to ask me to sign things. If we kick her out, that means that we're left with her. We put Nikki in. Yeah. I've had business experience. I've gained two degrees. You've got somebody at the side working for you that's, yeah. that you can trust. Are you happy to take a step back? Do you know what? Pete's the star. I'm just here to help you. Yeah, shine. Ex exactly. Yeah. She was bright, bubbly. She was. Quite sparky, intelligent, mm -hmm. actually. Mm. And again, sort of, again, it's not to do with age, because yeah. she's younger, but she has that maturity. Okay. I think these are the right choices. Yeah. Let's see how it levels out. Yeah. I'm a bit worried about the girl who covered herself in Febreze and came no, in. No, I thought, you know. I think it's a top tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you two are happy with yeah. this selection? Yes. Okay, goodbye, losers. Ladle, aren't you? The final ten have been chosen. They will live and breathe as Pete's right hand men and women whilst competing against each other during some grueling tasks. I think that people will be surprised by the ten people I, I chose because it's a very diverse selection of people. And I think they've all got their own individual strengths and they're all interesting characters. And somehow, one is going to jump out of those ten and prove themselves to be everything that I want. I'm kind of leaving behind my boyfriend and my, my dogs <laughs> um, and all my friends as well. So, But they're absolutely rooting for me, so that's all I could wish for. To get this job would mean a lot to me because I've come from a small town and I've really you know, pushed myself here to really fall back with being lacking in confidence and it would mean everything, it would be unbelievable. I really do want to win. I believe that I'll be really good at this job, so I want to win. I think it's going to be really competitive. Um, there's going to be probably a lot of bitching and backstabbing. I'm hoping there's going to be some serious competition because serious competition means I will rise to try and meet them. I am quite stubborn. Um, I think this might affect people in the house. Um, I'm quite opinionated, so um, I might sort of say what's on my mind. People might not like that, but that's who I am at the end of the day. I think in the house people will be um, quite catty, quite backstabbing, quite bitchy, uh, looking to drop the next person in it as quick as probably look at you. I really want this job. I think it would be an excellent opportunity to, you know, really find something that I'm good at and that I'm passionate about, that's exciting, that keeps me challenged. I, I want it. I'm in there to win it. How much do I want this job? I actually want it more than anything in the world. I really do. 10 CVs. One job vacancy. Who will become Pete's PA? Whoever Pete hires, my advice to them would be fasten your seatbelt, it's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Next time on Pete's PA. You know what a gimp is? Anyway, <laughs> I've thrown him, haven't I? Because you also haven't really been a PA. You just looked after people in hospitality. I Brilliantly. Got, I was also nominated myself for overconfidence. <laughs> How you fucking tell? Breathe away from it. <laughs> oh. oh. No one wants to be the one that everyone laughs at. It's going to be horrible, but um, yeah, there's one less. <laughs> Let him go. Get out. I miss my dog a lot. Time to go home. Pete looks just like his ex-wife, doesn't he? Weird. Christina and Burke are getting ready for their wedding in the first of a two-part special of Grey's Anatomy, Thursday at 10. And stay with us now for CSI.